uh, this is going to be a, a tough review to to film because it's really hard that game to to analyze and talk about emotionally because and even rationally because coming away from that it's very hard to have any optimism as a fan that was the most demoralizing the most infuriating uh, game I've witnessed and the most heartbreaking defeat I've seen from a Chelsea um, side in a long time you know all the reviews I've done this year you know in a lot of defeats we've had this year this was I think top of that list I think for a number of reasons maybe it's a combination of things um the fact that this was the third time we've played this Man United side and all three times we've lost I mean that's just completely staggering to me considering the quality of this Man United side considering the way in which in that first half in all for maybe not the League Cup game if I remember right the League Cup game was quite a strange one there weren't a lot of chances but especially the the first game of the season and this game um similar story Chelsea not being clinical enough it's just so strange watching Chelsea against Manchester United this year because we seem to outplay them at points we seem to you know it's not like they're nullifying us um especially in that first half we're great in chances but we can't put them away which is the the simple story of our season and if you want to analyze it and you know Frank Lampard on the side you know there's been a lot of talk about creativity getting creativity into this team well I'd argue tonight's a prime example of that is not one of the top issues at Chelsea um Kepa is not one of the top issues at Chelsea um it's for me I think one of the ones that go right to the top of the list for me is clinical finishing uh, Michi Batshuayi there's proof right there of why he's not going to be selected as the main striker at Chelsea probably ever because that was a prime chance for him to make an impact and he didn't um, and I feel sorry for Giroud because I'm like I, I think the way Giroud impacted that game was more positive he looks more influential he links up better but yeah just going through the game you know it just felt like we were, we were on top in that first half we were playing really well even after Kante got injured I thought uh, Mount looked brilliant I think he looked so much more infused I think the the break did him real good um, he looks more refreshed which is good for the rest of the season I thought Kovacic and Georgina especially Kova looked back to his best tonight um, but it goes back to similar frustrations you know we don't have enough pace on the left so when Man United inevitably give us the ball back we didn't have enough pace on that side to to get at them and um, that's of course a frustration we've had throughout the whole season and on the right um, not having uh, Callum Hudson-Odoi who went down with an injury um, before the game that's another issue and Rhys James wasn't able I don't think in this game to get as many crosses into the box he did influence the game at points but not as much as in previous games the defense I thought looked good in that first half especially uh, Rudiger and Christensen I thought Christensen had done really well but once again the elements not being and the luck not being on Chelsea side another player goes down injured two of Frank Lampard's three subs had to be used on replacing injured players you can't prepare for that sort of thing it really can't and you know Tammy and Hudson-Odoi being out uh, Pulisic as well being out in, in recent times, you know, just the worst injury record we've had in so often. So there was always that up against us, but not taking our chances. And then it was so typical that uh, Man United take the lead before half time. And of course, Zuma scoring, coming off the bench and scoring, and then it gets ruled out. And I felt that Chelsea lost their heads. I really did. I think the emotion of the crowd got to them. And I think we stopped playing our game and we went into, the only expression I can use, we go into the mud with Manchester United. They wanted it to become a, they couldn't cope with us in the first half with our passing, getting out from the back and creating chances and getting in behind, which of course, of course, we know we didn't finish. But after that goal got ruled out to me it looked like Chelsea just lost all confidence we were giving the ball away we made it a really scrappy game not a very nice game to watch and uh, that of course favoured Manchester United uh, Caballero done his best to try and keep it at one but another free header the reason I'll say about earlier I said about Kepa not being the big problem at Chelsea um, because I, you can put any keeper in that goal and I've said it all through the season yes there are criticism for Kepa and probably of Caballero as well, but we give away so many chances that I think, to the naked eye, I watch it, and I think most keepers are going to struggle to keep goals out um, for Chelsea. And that's been a problem throughout, you know, set-piece defending has been a problem throughout the whole season. And there, there is that major rotation, once again, of Giroud scoring and it getting ruled out. It just felt t so typical. I remember after sitting in my seat thinking after the first goal went out, wouldn't it be, you know, typical based on the way the night is going? 
to be ruled out again. Anthony Taylor didn't have a very good night. Um, I'm not that surprised. I'm not going to, of course, I tr please don't make it as if I'm blaming Anthony Taylor for the result tonight, but um, it's no surprise to me that the guy responsible or the guy that looked at the Gazaniga foul on Willian in, uh, against Tottenham in December um, and gave that as a foul, um, sorry, it, did I say Willian against Alonso and gave that as a foul um, from Alonso on Gazaniga? I mean, that's the sort of decision making you have. And of course, VAR is, irritating a lot of fans at the moment but I don't know where Chelsea go from here um, I think that's the, the the irritating thing right now because Lampard can look at that first half once again like he probably looked at the first half of Leicester and Chelsea are creating chances but we're not putting them away and if Tammy's injured for a while let's hope Giroud can come in and Giroud can take those chances because at the moment Chelsea um we're not going to get anywhere. We're going to continually get punished. We know this defence can't keep a clean sheet. So Chelsea need to be more proactive and clinical in the final third, which we were earlier in the season. When we were conceding a couple of goals, we were getting aware of it because we were much more proactive and clinical in um, the final third. And that's what Chelsea need to be because they've got a massive game now against Spurs. If we lose that, it's going to be absolutely demoralising. Tonight was absolutely demoralising. It's a big test now of Chelsea's character to respond to this because we needed now, I'd say, maybe you could say four points for the next two games. Chelsea... Definitely, you know, don't can't lose against Spurs because it'd be even more demoralising. But I think three points are absolutely key to get Chelsea back on track. Um, and probably Giroud for me has to start if Tammy's not fit. Let's hope Hudson Odoi can get back soon. Let's hope Christian Pulisic can get back soon. Um, let's hope Ruben can get back soon. Um, I'm I'm worried that Kante and Christensen's injury are going to be long term. How's that going to affect the team? We don't know. Um, but yeah, it's really uh, depressing. It really is really heartbreaking. And I'm sure for a lot of you guys as well, it's very hard to find positives. I talk about positives. I thought, you know, covered Georgie, uh, Mount, I thought played well at points. Um, but overall, it's really, you know, hard to take and hard to take against the Manchester United side, who I just don't think have a lot of quality. Um, but they've beaten us three times. So that says something, doesn't it? So um, it's irritating and it really... Um, knocks us back and puts us right in the fight for Champions League football now and it isn't going to be an easy ride um, but then that's supporting Chelsea isn't it so thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this video if you did enjoy it hit that subscribe button and a notification bell to never miss an upload follow me on Twitter at Son of Chelsea and I'll see you again